Hi, so I reviewed uh, 13 project management apps on the Salesforce App Exchange, and these are the top four apps from that review. I'm going to go into the detail scores for each of these apps. You can go into more detail on my website where you can see individual uh, blog posts for each one of the apps, uh, plus uh, detailed spreadsheets that I use to do the fit cap analysis. Have over 200 requirements on these spreadsheets. Uh, evaluate each of the apps against those requirements to come up with an overall score. So what you're seeing on this slide is the summary of those scores. Uh, we're interested in the schedule management process. So these are the 10 uh, project management processes the requirements are grouped by. And we're interested in schedule management and Inspire Planner is the clear winner there with Cantata coming in at second place. But if you look at the overall functionality, project management functionality, Certinia and Cantata are scoring higher because they're much more broader functioning um, project management tools. So that's one of the decisions you need to make as you select your tool. Are you looking for strictly a schedule management tool? Then Inspire Planner is your tool. If you're looking for more broad functionality, you're going to have to dive into the details to make sure that Cantana and Certinia meet your scheduling needs, but also provide the other uh, functionality that you need. Okay, so these are the key differentiators related to the scheduling functionality. So you can see here whether the each of the apps is a fit or has a gap, does it meet the requirement on this, on this list. So the first one is planning releases. Can you plan software releases or product releases easily within the tool? Then can you create a project directly from a sales funnel? So if you're in Salesforce, you have a lead and opportunity, you've won the sale, can you set it up to press a button and create a project, a standard project to uh, serve that customer with that standard uh, product or service? Next, can you sync it with Salesforce tasks? Meaning you've got users using the Salesforce task list, and then you have this, these tasks in the scheduling tool. Can you import the scheduling tool tasks into the Salesforce tasks so that your users, you know, each morning can go to one location, see all the things assigned to them, or do they have to go to two locations? Um, then next is, can you assign a task to a team queue? So you're not assigning a task to an individual, you're assigning a task to a team and anyone in the team can pick up and work that task. Then can you list inter-project dependencies? If you have multiple projects, can you list where one project has a dependency on the other project and will be delayed if that dependency is not met? Then can you rank the task user stories in a product backlog? So in their Kanban board, is there a backlog where you can rank all those user stories or tasks uh, so that developers know in what order that they need to work them? Does it have a Kanban board at all? Surprisingly, Certinia does not. Can you assign checklist to tasks? So you've assigned a task can you break that task down into a list of other steps, a checklist uh, that needs to be completed to complete the entire task? Can you update task assignments on a project template? So can you create a standard project template? This is our standard project. Create a project from it and then very easily update that, like replace the project manager without having to do it 50 times on 50 tasks, uh, do that in one step. Next is, can you set up task constraints? So these typically are the task must finish on a specific date, must start on a specific date. Um, only Inspire Planner uh, supports that functionality, which is kind of standard scheduling functionality and more advanced scheduling tools like Primavera, Microsoft Project, those kind of things. So next is assign tasks to external users. So usually you have a project, you have external contractors also working on the project. Can you assign tasks to those users who don't have licenses to Salesforce? Can they mark the task complete and send the update back to you? 
And then the last thing is, can you set up fixed effort task schedules? So you can set up a task to say, yeah, this task will take a duration of two days, or you could set up the task to say, it will take 16 hours. So if it takes 16 hours and I assign one person to it, it'll take two days at eight hours a day. If it's 16 hours, but I assign two people to it, it will take one day at eight hours a day. So that's task effort based scheduling and only client PSA supports that out of these four. So you need to make the decision based on these differentiators, which of these key uh, requirements do you require? And therefore, which of these four tools is the best for you? So here is the pricing for the four tools. As you can see, uh, client PSA is the cheapest. It only requires a single license, $24 per user per month. Uh, Inspire Planner comes in next. And then we have Certinia and uh, Katana, which I'm not exactly sure what the pricing is. We've got the uh, user per month pricing. I was able to track that down um, from various sources, but they don't really public publish standard pricing, minimum licenses. Um, so buyer beware, you're gonna have to go and, and negotiate that with uh, their sales force. So there are uh, two other key considerations as you evaluate these four tools. First, Certinia used to be called Financial Force. So you'll see it referred to that. And it actually provides an entire suite of apps for uh, back office functions, um, you know, accounting functions, things of that nature. So if you're looking for a comprehensive solution and you can live with the scheduling gaps that they have, then you might want to consider Certinia. Inspire Planner, um, Inspire Planner is in the process of converting to Lightning in the spring of 2024. So depending on when you're watching this video, they may be done with that, they may not be done with that. So you take that into consideration. And I have installed Inspire Planner at one client and that client um, has told me they did have some slow response times uh, issues, though they're still happy with the tool. And, but hopefully those response times will be addressed in this uh, upgrade to Lightning in the spring of 2024. Okay, so how did I actually perform the evaluation? This is the very boring part. First of all, I was able to get uh, free trials of Inspire Planner and Client PSA. So I was actually able to download those, use it firsthand, uh, run it through its paces, uh, confirm um, all the functionality worked properly. However, Certinia and Cantata, I was not able to get my hands on a trial, unfortunately. So there I had to rely on their demos and their documentation. And basically what I do is, after 30 years of project management experience, I've got the spreadsheet that's got the 200 something requirements. I think it probably has about 50 or 60 related to schedule, scheduling. And uh, I've developed that list as I've gone through and evaluating all these tools. I've added uh, functional, new functionality I've come across to the list. So after reviewing, I think I've reviewed close to 30 project management tools at this point, I've got a pretty comprehensive list of requirements assorted by process. Uh, and then what I do is I go through and I just answer the question for each one of those requirements. Uh, yes, can it do it out of the box as is? That's the green you see over here on the, on the right side. Um, no, it can't do it at all or requires customization. You know, they always saying any software can do anything with enough time and money, right? But So I basically get no if it requires customization. And then the yellow is, uh, yeah, it can do it, but you're gonna have to do some configuration. So it doesn't require any new coding but you're gonna do some setup, uh, you know, maybe simple things like build a report, um, you know, modify some settings, things of that nature, um, but it, it will do it, just won't do it out of the box. And then I score, give a score, each one of those requirements a score. So if it can do it out of the box, it gets four points. If it needs, requires some configuration, it then it only gets two points. If it requires customization, then it gets zero points. And then I total all those up, into an overall score as a percentage of the total possible max score. And that's how I do the scoring. Okay, so if you are looking to purchase a Salesforce project management app focused on the scheduling functionality, I hope this video has been useful to you. If you want more information, you can find the detailed reviews, individual reviews of each one of these apps at springmanconsulting.com as well as the actual evaluation fit gap analysis spreadsheets I use to do the evaluations. 
And if you found it useful, it's really encouragement to me. If you subscribe and like, I really don't get anything out of it, out of it except for it gives me encouragement to continue to make these videos because you find them useful. All right. I hope you liked it. See you soon.